Hi guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you guys are new here. So today's video is going to be my kind of at home, kind of like pamper routine, spa night, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just feel as though I'm very much overdue a bit of a pamper night. Um, I tend to do these kind of just when I'm feeling a bit crap, um, often when I kind of, I don't know, when I just feel a bit tired or I feel like my skin could do with a bit of a pamper um, or my eyebrows need doing or something like that I, I tend to kind of do them maybe like once a month I personally feel like they do absolute wonders for your mindset as well like when I kind of just take some time for myself and just do a little bit of self-care and yeah just kind of pay attention to myself um, I always feel so much better when I wake up the next day um, and it's also just quite nice to like look in the mirror and be like oh my eyebrows look nice or you know look at your hands and be like oh my nails look nice I just think that for me that's quite a mood lifter um, especially at the moment because Obviously we can't go and get treatments done or anything like that so it's quite nice to be able to do them at home yourself still so you still kind of keep that a bit of I guess normality. Um, so I am going to do that today. So I have actually already done my nails however I'm going to talk you through uh, all of the steps. I've just noticed I've got a pen on that one that's annoying. Um, I'm going to talk you through all of the steps so that if you want to do a gel nail manicure at home then you can. Um, but first up I am going to do my eyebrows. So I have this um, Isla Brow Tin. I have actually tinted my eyebrows quite a few times before. I used to do it a lot. Um, I only started really getting them done um, like at a beauty salon about two years ago. So I used to do this loads. So I, I kind of know what I'm doing. Really easy. Like you can't really go wrong with this. Like if you do go wrong, you can just scrub it off with a um, makeup wipe. So you haven't got to stress too much about it. Um, but so I bought the shade Dark Brown. With this, my only kind of tip is put it on for less time than you think, wipe it off, and if you're still not happy with it, then just put it back on, rather than leaving it on too long, if you know what I mean. Um, so, that's what we're gonna do. So, um, it comes like this, so it has a little activator, and then the um, actual color. So you just pop it, you can either pop it in here and mix it all together, but I actually um, ordered a little pot to do it in, so I just find it a little bit easier. Yeah, so I just have one of these little pots. I think these are for like acrylic nails. Um, but yeah, and then it comes with a little spoolie as well. And it's really, really simple. So I'm going to show you what I do. So if I pop you down here so you can see. Also, obviously, it's used to stay with me. But, you know, it's pamper night. So I wasn't going to look pretty. Um, hopefully, I'll look pretty after, though. Um, so, yeah, right. So I can't remember how many drops it is. I think, here we go. So you mix two centimetres of this colour with uh, five drops of the activator. So let's do it. So do about two centimeters. I mean, I just do a bit of a rough one. Is that about two centimeters? Maybe a little bit more. Um, like I've never really properly meshed out and it's been fine for me. Another thing you can do if you're worried about getting it kind of under um, your brows or around is you can put some Vaseline or like eight hour cream or just something like gel kind of consistency round the skin there and the tint won't touch it then. Um, but I'm not gonna bother doing that because I'm being lazy. <laughs> so before I mix it all together, I'm just gonna brush my brows upwards so you can kind of see the shape of them a bit better and then we will mix it all together and just apply it simple as that so just to add as well like if you've never used this before then maybe do a patch test just to make sure you're not allergic to it or anything like that um but yeah it says that it lasts six weeks um but yeah it says leave the cream on your eyebrows to five to ten minutes but i'm probably only going to leave it for about three i think um so yeah right let's mix this together don't worry it does look a bit ginger like it does look a bit red at first but it won't when it um is actually on your brow right so i am gonna i'm gonna use the viewfinder so this might be a big mistake <laughs> But you literally just kind of comb it through your eyebrow, like so. Obviously taking a bit of care not to get it on the skin around, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. You can just wipe it off, like kind of scrub it off. 
I'm going to pluck my eyebrows after this as well. So if they are looking like a bit crazy, then that's why. I've kind of been leaving them to grow a bit. I have been using the um, Rapid Brow um, like serum that you put on kind of morning and night which I've been loving actually. I've been really impressed with it so far. I've only been using it about two weeks, but I would say that um, the growth is definitely, they just seem a lot thicker. Um, and I'd say I'm getting like quite a lot of growth where I wouldn't normally see it, which is really good. So I'd recommend trying it out. You can also use castor oil if you um, like. Right, I think that'll do. I might put a tiny wee bit more on. But yeah, I've also been using Rapid Lash, which I'd say it isn't giving me as obvious results as the rapid brow, but I think it is meant to take longer with the lashes and also my lashes are in quite bad kind of condition at the moment because I've had extensions on for so long. So I'm just going to leave that on. It's probably already been on at least a minute, so I'm going to leave it on for um, another two minutes. So also you can use one of these buds um, if it has gone like where you don't really want it. You can just use them to wipe it off the skin quite easy don't panic if they look quite dark um, because they will fade I should have probably done a before and after um, maybe I'll try with the footage from before they're not that different as you can see because I didn't leave it on for very long at all because uh, I don't want them too dark I just want them to be a little bit fuller um, than they were before so that's that, it's literally as easy as that. So, so simple. Um, and yeah, like I said, I think it said it last, did it say it last six weeks or 12 weeks? Um, six weeks. So yeah, I will link this down below as I will with everything used. If you wanna kinda recreate a at home spa night. Um, right, so now I'm gonna do some shaping of my eyebrows. Like I said, I am trying to leave them, but my monobrow definitely needs a pluck. Um, so, oh, that was my timer. So in terms of plucking, I always use tweezerman tweezers. I just think they're the best tweezers for actually grabbing hold of the hair. Um, and often if you're using like really crappy tweezers, that's when it can hurt more because they kind of slip on the hair. I just think the grip on these is really, really good. So um, I'm just gonna brush my brows up first. Again, and just see if there are kind of any hairs. Um, I don't really touch any hair sort of around here, but any hairs, kind of going more down into my eyelid like there I will and obviously in the middle um I don't touch them on the top because that's when you can get a bit like pluck happy and then end up with holes in your brow so yeah gonna uh, get going with this I'm gonna do it facing over here so I've got a little bit more light obviously doing it in natural light is the uh best way to do it Okay, so that is my eyebrows done. Um, sometimes I will brush them up and then just give them a little trim at the top, but I can't find my scissors at the moment, so I'm not gonna do that. And also I don't think they really need doing that bad. They look a bit of a mess still, because like I said, I'm, tr I'm trying to grow them. Like, so I haven't plucked all around here, um, or same on the other side, and also down here I've kind of left too. Um, so yeah, they don't look perfect at all, but trying to grow them a bit because I want some nice big bushy brows like I always see everyone on Instagram with. <laughs> um, so yeah, right. Next step is I'm gonna jump in the shower, um, I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm gonna do a hair mask um, and uh, yeah, exfoliate my body, put on really, really nice kind of like shower gel and stuff. So I'm gonna show you all of that before I get in the shower um, and then Obviously, I'm not going to show you the showering process. You all know how to shower. Um, and then I will show you what I do when I come out of the shower. So when I come out of the shower, I'm going to do my skincare routine. Um, I'm going to do a face mask. Um, and yeah, dry my hair, that sort of thing. 
not too exciting. I don't know, we'll see how we get on. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna show you my nails, right? I'll show you nails first, and um, then we will get in the shower. We won't, I will. <laughs> so I keep everything in here. So first of all, you're going to need a um, UV light. So I will link this one down below. It was pretty cheap, I think it's like 20 pounds. Um, so yeah, that's your first step. If you um, have already got nails on, like gel nails on, which um, I'd be surprised if you do because they wouldn't have lasted this long. Um, but you need pure acetone and um, just some foil and some cotton, pu um, cotton pads. Um, I've got these ones that are like already come made, if you know what I mean, um, and then you use them to scrape it off. Yeah, I don't think anybody would still have it on um, that didn't know how to kind of get it off, if you know what I mean. Um, so then next up you're going to need this. So this is the nail prep and polish wipes um, and you also need some lint free wipes. Um, so the first step is to prepare your nails. So obviously file them, shape them, do them however you want um, and then use these two products. Um, just to wipe your nails so just wipe them with this stuff just to get them all prepared um, for putting the coats on so next up you will need where is it so I use the Blue Sky brand. There's loads of other brands out there, but somebody messaged me and told me that this one kind of stayed on the longest, so I just went for that. Um, so yeah, you will need the base coat. So what you do is just put the base coat on your nails and then I pop them under this for 60 seconds. Sorry, the focus is really bad. Yeah, so I just pop them under that for 60 seconds. I apply one coat of the base coat and then once you've done that, you'll need your color. Um, so I have, no, that's not the color I have on, is it? So again, I've got a Blue Sky color which is the colour on my nails right now, and it is called Shopping Star, I think. Yeah, Shopping Star. So yeah, then I put, I did about three coats of this. You can kind of do like as many as you like, depending on how sheer you want it, but I wanted mine to be like a block colour. So yeah, you can kind of see the kind of colour of mine. Um, but yeah, I think I did three coats of that, and then you will need the top coat. So this again is the Blue Sky one. Um, it says it's a no wipe top coat, which basically means you haven't got to wipe it afterwards with this same stuff again. However, um, I do it anyway. So if you've ever done your gel nails before and you've wondered why they're sticky, it's because you need to do a wipe with this afterwards. So yeah, again, just using the lint-free wipes. Um, and yeah, that is as easy as it is really. So with this top coat, I do um, a little bit, tiny weeny bit on the tips of my nails too. Obviously don't get it on your skin, but just to make sure that the underneath bit has kind of like caught on the nail, if you get what I mean. Um, and then yeah, just do it as a normal top coat, put it under for 60 seconds and you're done. It's literally that easy. Um, so yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it. And I wasn't gonna get one, because I think you'll remember, I said in my YouTube video a while back, I wasn't gonna bother getting one, but then lockdown got extended even longer and longer. And I was like, oh, I really would like my nails done. Um, and now I have got it, I'm so glad, because I find it really relaxing to do. Um, don't get me wrong, I'll probably still go to nail salon like every now and then, but I think kind of every other one, I'll just do myself. Um, so it's quite good to save some money and yeah, it's just quite a nice thing to do. So that is my nails and like I said, I have already done them. I did them yesterday and yeah, I would say they don't last as long as when you get it done in the nail salon. Um, these probably, the last time I did them, they probably lasted me about a week and a half maybe. Um, whereas in the salon I can normally get like two to three weeks out of them, so yeah. Um, I know a lot of people for like a spa kind of evening pamper routine will have a nice bath. Um, to be honest, I'm not a big, big fan of baths. I don't really have them very often. I only really have them, I don't know, if I really, really feel like it. But if I am going to have one, I will use this. So this is the White Company bath oil. It's the spa smell, which is the same smell that um, I have in these diffusers here. Sorry, ignore Sam's massage gun. That's for his muscles. Um, not anything else weird. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's the same smell as is in the diffuser there. Um, and I just love it. It's such a nice relaxing spa scent. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to have a bath tonight because I just don't really want one. Um, I just find I get really hot and bothered in them, to be honest. So, but yeah, when I am in the mood, I use this. Okay, so I've just got out of the shower. So I want to show you like what I use in the shower. So um, first of all, I use this, which is the Color Wow Dream Filter. So this stuff is great, especially if you have hard water, because basically this um, filters out all of the minerals that are found in the hard water, which typically destroy kind of your hair color and kind of make it look less bright and stuff. Um, or even if you don't have hard water, this is a great one to use with the other Color Wow products. So I literally just spray a little bit of this on to my dry hair um, and I just feel like it helps to keep it nice and bright. So yeah, it says down there what it does. Hang on. Filters out color destroying minerals found in 
tap water that dull, darken and distort colour. Okay, so welcome to my shower. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to show you these. So I use the Colour Wow Colour Security Shampoo um, and also the Colour Security Conditioner, but I didn't use that today, I'll explain why in a sec. Um, so yeah, this is amazing for keeping coloured hair blonde. I wouldn't say this is anything like a purple shampoo. So I have a purple shampoo here, which is just the L'Oreal one. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say this is anything particularly like a purple shampoo. It's more to kind of maintain your colour. I do feel as though it does kind of get rid of some of the brassiness. So I would say this is just way less drying than a purple shampoo. And for me, because I've been using it ever since I got my hair coloured, um, I just find it works so well for just keeping any brassiness away and just maintaining the colour, really. So I, um, as you can see, I bought the big bottles because I was using these but I was going through them so quickly so yeah um this is the shampoo that I used so I use that today and I would normally use the conditioner but because I was doing a mask I used this one so this is the John Frieda hydrate and recharge mask recharge recharge <laughs> um so yeah this is a new one of theirs actually but I've used it a few times and I really really like it it smells lovely um, so yeah, I didn't use any of that other kind of shampoo. I have loads of shampoos in my um, shower. And then I also used this. So this is just a coconut body scrub. Um, I wouldn't say this is like groundbreaking, but it's fine. It does what a body scrub needs to do, you know? It does what it says on the tin. Uh, it's really, really nice scent because it's like coconut smell. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I have quite dry skin, which is why I have this one. Um, and this one is really nice and moisturizing. So yeah, I exfoliated with that. And then as I said, I did the shampoo and then the hair mask as well. And that's everything that I did in the shower. I didn't um, shave my legs or anything like that because I did that the other day, so yeah. So now we're in my bathroom, so you guys don't see this room very much um, because we are planning on redoing it, but obviously that's on hold at the moment because of everything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of skincare now. So I'm not gonna do that much because I literally haven't worn makeup in like, probably like five, six days. So, um, and I've kind of been cleansing my skin as I go along. So I don't need to do like a real, real deep cleanse. Um, but I am gonna do a bit of a cleanse and um, yeah, so just having to think about what I'm gonna use. I have so many different cleansers that I love. Um, so like if I want a foam cleanser, I'll use the Elemis Superfood one. Um, but recently I have been really enjoying the Elemis um, Balm Cleanser because I've got a real thing with smells and this smells. <laughs> Like I want to rub it over my whole body. Like it's such a nice kind of spa smell. I hope the lighting's all right, by the way. I had to turn the light off because it connects to the extractor fan and the extractor fan was like going really noisy. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to use the balm cleanser um, to cleanse my face. And yeah, then we'll see how we go. Yeah, okay, right. I'm going to have to point you this way. So I hope the lighting doesn't go weird because I know I've got light behind me. So it's a bit weird. So I just wet my face and then pop some of the balm cleanser onto my face. Oh, this just goes on so nicely. I love it. Oh, it smells gorgeous. I'm gonna put a candle on in a minute as well because I feel like that's really gonna up this pamper routine. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Foreo, which I have used and loved for probably like two years now, I reckon. Um, yeah, love this for getting real, real like into your pores. Um, this isn't an ad or anything, I just love it. <laughs> so just gonna run that under the water. I do find a Foreo works better with a foam cleanser, but it doesn't really matter. One thing that I really, really don't miss about lash extensions is um, the fact that I can properly rub my eyes and like cleanse all around my eyes and stuff. I just find it so difficult like doing it like this. So yeah, that is one thing that I am not missing. However, I will still be getting them back as soon as we can. <laughs> God, it's just unreal how much of a difference like doing this self-care makes. Like I can already feel myself just feeling like lighter do you know what i mean like i just don't feel like really weighed down and because i was feeling like just a little bit stressed so not about anything in particular but just generally 
um, and it's just mad how like I just feel relaxed. <laughs> now I am gonna do a toner, so I don't actually have that many toners, so I don't really use them very often. I've got the pixie one, and then I've got the lizard one. Let's see which one I. Mm, no, I think we need the pixie one. I don't use this one very often actually. Um, that's the thing about this kind of pamper routine. I don't want you to go and necessarily like rush out and buy the products that I've used because this is not like a skincare routine in the sense that I'm trying new things, um, which is what I like doing in a pamper routine. And also what with like lockdown and everything, I um, decided I wanted to try like try more stuff um, because I'm often quite, I tend to just stick to the same things a lot, but um, I have quite a few different beauty products that I always want to try, but I just never get around to it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, this isn't a skincare routine and it's not like these are my holy grail products. So don't, like I said, don't go out and buy them just because like I've said that I use them because it doesn't mean that I use them all the time. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this onto a cotton pad and then just rub it all around my face. This one's nice because it's an exfoliating one as well. So you don't have to do like a separate exfoliation. So now we're on to my favourite time, which is face mask time. So I'm going to go and get a face mask because I keep them in my dressing room, um, apply that, and then I will probably dry my hair and everything. Oh, I'm going to go and get a nice cup of tea as well, um, a nice herbal tea because I just thought that would be nice. And I'm going to light some candles. Okay, so I have got myself a nice cup of tea, just here, got a peppermint tea love peppermint like especially on an evening i just want it very just relaxing to drink before bed um and i'm going to use this sephora face mask so i'm a bit annoyed because i normally would use as a sheet mask i would normally use the garnier one um the uh what's it called oh moisture bomb i want to say um but i'm all out so i actually ordered some more of them today um and i just thought i may as well use this one so yeah I'm gonna pop this one on now. I also really wanna get one of those face steamers. I've seen people use them on YouTube and stuff and you can buy them on Amazon for like, I think it's about 30 pounds. Um, and um, they just look so good and relaxing and also really good for like decongesting. Is that a word, decongesting? Um, really good for congested noses. <laughs> Like in the reviews, they said they're so good when you've got a cold and stuff. Um, but they also like open up all your pores so all your skincare can like go in really, really deep. So um, yeah, I really fancy getting one of them. But then part of me is like, am I just wasting money? You know, like when you buy silly things because you've seen them on the internet. It's kind of what I would probably be doing with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, right. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to do its thing, I'm just going to sit here, scroll on Instagram, watch a bit of YouTube, and drink my tea. Sorry, you guys probably literally can't take me seriously with this on, um, and I'm going to try not to talk too much because it will just come off. But one thing that I'm going to do while I'm here is use this. This is the Jessica Nail Oil, so I'm just going to use some of that on my nails and just kind of massage um, it in to my cuticles and onto the nail as well. So this is great for not only moisturizing your nails and your nail beds, but it's also great for maintaining your gels. Um, don't know why, but that's what my nail tech told me. So that's what we're going with. Um, so yeah, I literally just massage that into my nails. It's just like a nice thing to do as well. Like I always forget to do stuff like this, like all the little bits. Sorry, this is all going down. Um, but yeah. Also, before I put my pajamas on, I am gonna use this Espar um, restorative body oil. So again, this is a new one that I've not tried yet, but I love everything Espar. Like I genuinely don't think I've ever tried anything from Espar that I didn't like. I love their cleanser. I love their hair mask. I love their candles their incense their oh their facial oil is my favorite i might use that later um oh this looks so nice <gasps> i feel like i'm in a spa um yeah it's just a body oil so it just says to massage it into skin in a 
in firm upwards movements, I guess that's for like the lymphatic drainage. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use that and give myself a right little pamper. Um, obviously you guys won't see me doing that because I'll be naked, but I will show you after. <laughs> if I was being really, really good and like doing like a, oh my God, <laughs> doing like a proper detox, I would not be on Instagram and I'd be like reading a book or something with some classical music behind, but um, I just can't be bothered tonight. Just wanna scroll on Instagram. That's what I'm gonna do. Quite hard to uh, drink tea with a sheet mask on. If anybody's wondering, my dressing gown is from John Lewis. This towel is from The White Company. Um, and I'm wearing my Ugg slippers, which I live in. I actually don't think I've taken them off my feet the whole of lockdown. I really don't. <laughs> so face mask is coming off so I'm just gonna massage any of that that is left into my face oh, I just used the um sorry look quite the lighting's a little bit weird I don't know why <laughs> um probably because it's getting a bit later now and the light's going from outside but I just used that um s-bar body oil and oh my god my skin just drank it up it was like heaven for my skin. Um, I have got really, really dry skin, so that is probably why. So, so nice. And also, it wasn't... Because I was a bit worried about being, re being really greasy afterwards, but I'm already dry, and I only used it about five minutes ago, so I just used it and then put my dressing gown back on. Um, and, oh my God, my skin's never felt so nourished. It's so good. I'm really, really, really happy with that. Um, I paid, like, special attention, like, put extra bits on my elbows and my knees and, like, my heels and stuff. Um... Oh, it's gorgeous. It smells so good as well. So anyway, right, so I've taken that off. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of, um, what do you call it, like facial rolling? Anyway, I'll show you. So one of my lovely friends bought me this um, and it is a rose quartz roller. Um, now I wasn't really like into this kind of stuff. Like I didn't really know about it. Um, and then I did a lot of research and I realized that a lot of it is to help um, with the lymphatic drainage. And I used to have, um, lymphatic drainage massages because um i actually found they basically i used to get ill a lot like i used to get colds all the time I used to get tonsillitis all the time um and i found out that they help with like just flushing out like toxins and everything like that out of your body so anyway when i found out that these were kind of to do with it and you can kind of massage your face in the right direction um then i was just like all on board so yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of this now. It's nice to keep in the fridge because it's nice and cold. Um, mine's quite cold anyway, actually. So basically, I'm going to show you an image that kind of explains how you should use it. But you should always go upwards and like outwards as well. Other than when you're sort of like doing it up your forehead like that, obviously. is like So it's just always going to kind of the edge of your face. So that image there kind of explains the best way of using it. Um, so yeah, I just do kind of each one about 10 times. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. So, so I'm going to start with my chin. And just... It, do you know what? You don't realise how much tension as well you keep in your jaw. Um, and I do find this really helps with that. these were a bit of a fad but I just love them I find it just really relaxing as well even if you don't kind of really care what it does um it's just quite nice to do and it does really help you think about how tense your face is and about relaxing kind of your facial muscles as well um because often I mean look at me preaching I don't really know loads about this but often when you get like headaches and stuff like that um, a lot of it is because of the tension that you hold um so, yeah. 
Okay, so now that I've done that, I am gonna put a little bit of moisturizer on. Um, so I recently got a delivery of the Charlotte Tilbury night cream, which I've been dying to try for ages. Um, I'll take this off now, because I should probably dry my hair. Um, yeah, I've been dying to try it for ages. Um, I have heard a lot of people say it's very kind of sticky. Um, and in fact, it's kind of more like a mask um, and to apply it kind of like a good amount of time before you actually go to bed. So I'm gonna put it on now. Um, and give it a chance to like dry and actually sink into my skin. So it's kind of like a little first impressions for you as well. Oh, her packaging is always so luxurious, I think. Oh, okay, so yeah, this is how you should apply it. So it's a pro collagen facial technique. I love stuff like this. And then I am going to wash my hands to get any of the like grease off and um, dry my hair. So, right, wow, it does look very um, thick. Okay, so firstly, start from the lower cheek, sweep cream out and up like that. Tap fingertips across cheek, avoiding eye contour. Place fingers under cheekbones, smooth outwards and upwards, long cheekbone. Gently pinch chin with fingers moving up your jawline like that yeah and then starting in the middle of the forehead massage in circular motions moving out to the temples okay let's give it a go oh it's not actually too bad i reckon that's probably all i need well maybe we'll see how we get on i'm gonna rub it together in my hands Okay, so, I mean, I will say, I do think my skin does look very glowy, um, but I don't know if that's because it's got quite a bit of product on it, but I'm gonna let this seep in. I can see why people would think this is a bit sticky, but I think if you just apply a tiny amount and apply it a good amount of time before you go to bed, so obviously it doesn't stain your pillows, I think it's okay. Um, and I really, really like the smell, so yeah, I'm glad that was nice, because I was a little bit worried about the smell from the reviews. Um, but yeah. I like that it's gone on really nicely and again I do feel like my skin has drank it up so right I'm gonna go wash my hands now and then just start drying my hair I don't do anything special I'm just gonna dry it with my Dyson air wrap um just kind of a rough dry I think so yeah so I have got my PJs on these are from the white company and let me just tell you they are the softest most like gorgeous pajamas ever they're so so soft I keep I literally keep going to sound like feel how soft these pajamas are um they're gorgeous they're so comfy so I actually got a large in these and I'm so glad I did because um I think they come up quite small and I quite like my pajamas to be I just like them to be comfy I don't like them to be tight anywhere so um yeah oh they're honestly gorgeous I'm obsessed with them they are just the best PJs ever I know they are expensive but um the white company does do 15% off when you sign up with your email um and yeah personally I think they're worth it um I would happily buy them again so yeah just thought I would show you them for my hair drying I am going to use this stuff why is my focus being so bad come on there we go so it's the bumble and bumble hairdressers invisible oil i've just put an order in to get some moroccan oil um just for the ends of my hair and stuff because i do feel like it's quite dry at the moment so yeah i'm gonna obviously use that when that comes but this is what i'm using for now it's a heat protector as well um and then i will use my tangle teaser or one of many tangle teasers um and my dyson air wrap which is here
Okay, so I haven't fully dried my hair because I'm gonna leave kind of the rest to air dry, but I just want to show you the color. I know it was dirty before, but I do feel as though the color wow does make it a lot brighter and like a nice creamy blonde. Hang on, let's try and get some like natural light. There we go, that lighting's better. Um, so you can kind of see. I just think it works wonders, to be honest. I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, so yeah. Anyway, now I am going to do kind of the next step of my pamper routine, which is just like little bits and bobs. So I'm going to go and show you that now. Oh, I also need to like my eye cream and everything like that. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so the next stage of my pamper routine is in my bedside cabinet. So um, I have like a few little bits that I have in here just because I tend to do them like every night. Um, so I have my eye cream in here. Um, this mask, by the way, is amazing. I actually use this like most nights. Why is my focus so shocking today? Yeah, so it's the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. I use this every single night when I've not done like a full kind of face mask and stuff. This I just put on before bed um, and sleep in it. So yeah, we'll see how I get on comparing that with the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I have been really, really enjoying this. So if you're looking to try some of the Summer Fridays stuff, I do recommend that, it's really good. Um, okay, so a few other things I've got is Rapid Brow and Rapid Lash. So as I mentioned, I've been using them. Oh. Um, and purple ointment, which is what I use as a lip balm. And then this stuff, which is really glamorous, um, but it is foot cream, basically. I have quite dry feet, um, which is because I don't drink enough water. Um, so someone told me once. Um, and just generally, like I think it's genetic as well. Um, so yeah, I popped that on as well. And that is everything. Oh, I also have my vitamins too, but I actually took these this morning, but if I forget to take them in the morning, then I take them in the evening. So I've got vitamin D3 and vitamin C there. Um, the reason that I take vitamin D is because, basically long story, but I had pneumonia um, two years ago, two or three years ago, and I was in hospital for a while, it was quite bad. Um, and when I spoke to the consultant afterwards, I was like, is there anything I can do to like not get ill as often? Because I was basically getting ill all the time. Um, and that's when my interest in the lymphatic drainage started and stuff um, and he recommended taking vitamin D so ever since then I've taken it. Okay so I have been using Rapid Brow um, morning and night and I personally feel like it is really really helping. Um, I just feel as though I've um, my brows just look thicker and yeah the hair growth seems to be more because normally my brows just wouldn't grow at all like just they just didn't grow so yeah, I'm quite chuffed with that so far. I've only been using it, I say I've been using it about two weeks now. Um, and I'm also gonna use a rapid lash. Um, again, as I said before, this one I'm not like as impressed with, but I'm sure it will. Um, I think it just takes longer basically because I've had heard so many good reviews about this. So you literally just pop it. Oh, I can't do this without a mirror, but you just pop it on your lash line. Basically, I'm gonna go and do this now um, and then come back to you. Okay, so that is all done. And then with the Magic Eye Rescue, I just get a little bit on my finger and just dab it under my eyes. I'm really, really impressed with that night cream. I feel like it's really sunk in now. So my face doesn't feel sticky at all, but it feels really... Oh, it just feels nice and plump, you know? Like, it doesn't feel tight at all. Um, so, yeah, press with that. See how I get on. None of that stuff was gifted to me, by the way. I just love Charlotte Tilbury. Like, I think... I'd say they are one of my absolute favourite makeup brands. Like, I'm kind of yet to try anything that I don't love from her. Um, I just think she's brilliant. So that is my eye cream done. And then I pop um, this pore pore ointment on my lips. Um, I've used this stuff for years and years and years. It's the best. It's so good. You can use it on everything like lips, cracked skin, burns, stings, rashes, nappy rash, everything. Um, it's so, so good. You can just buy it off Amazon. I also take this with me on flights and stuff and I use it on like my eyelids and like anywhere that I feel is like quite dry. Um, oh, there's a little fly in here. Um, and then lastly, this stuff, which you guys don't need to see me doing. Um, just foot cream, that's all it is. Um, so yeah, I also wanna to talk to you about fake tan because I didn't fake tan in this pamper session, but a lot of the time I will. So I'm gonna talk through the fake tan that I do normally use. 
um, just in case you guys are interested. But what I will say is, because I do get a lot of questions about fake tan and my fake tan routine and stuff, um, and I actually don't fake tan very often. I'm a really, really bad fake tanner. Like whenever I fake tan, it always ends up in a massive mistake because I normally miss a whole patch and yeah, I'm just not very good at it. Luckily, I do tan quite naturally, so I don't have to wear that much fake tan. But if I'm going like out somewhere or I'm feeling particularly pale, then I will. So I'll show you what I do. Um, so yeah, let me go show you that. Please don't mind that it's quite dark. Um, like I said, I just didn't want the extract fan on. Um, but so if I was going to fake tan my face, I would use one of two products. So either these, which are the San Saint Tropez uh, like tanning drops. I just put like about two or three drops into my hands, rub it together, rub it onto my face and then wash my hands and I find that creates a really really nice natural glow. I also feel like this one's very foolproof, like I never really get streaks with it or anything like that. Um, but I've also been using this one more recently, the Tan Luxe Super Glow. And what I like about this one is this one has hyaluronic acid in it so it's a little bit more hydrating um, and yeah I just have kind of been alternating. Um, but they are kind of my go-to's. I'd say they um, give a very similar colour as well, like it's quite subtle but it's definitely noticeable. In terms of my body I always use the Saint Tropez self tan, um, I have done for years and years and years. Um, I do love it, however I have felt like it doesn't necessarily make me as dark as I'd like to be and I leave it on overnight. Um, this does go onto your sheets a little bit as well but it washes out so it doesn't really bother me. Um, so I've also been using the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark, um, what's this one called? self tanning foam there we go um so i've been using that which i really really like too but i also want to get my hands on the liquid gold bondi sands because apparently that's going to be really good um and also i want to try the tan Lux body hyaluronic acid tan if you know what i mean i think that's what it's called um so yeah i'm i'm really not a very good person to take tan advice off at the moment because i haven't really found one for my body that i love um because I did love this one so much, but it just doesn't seem to be as good anymore. I don't know if they've changed the formula, maybe. I don't know. I do like it. It just doesn't make me as dark as I want to be. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I think I'm going to try a few more different tans and I will keep you updated. So guys, that is the end of my little pamper night, pamper routine. Um, so yeah, if it was later, I'd probably just go to bed now or... Um, just lie in bed, scroll on my phone for a bit. Um, but because it's like seven, I am gonna go downstairs. We haven't actually had dinner yet, so I'm gonna have some dinner, watch some TV, and yeah, finish the night there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this video made you feel like quite relaxed and calm, and also wanting to have a little pamper yourself. Um, so yeah, thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.